Hey, my name is Alan and today NVIDIA decided to drop an update on the NVIDIA broadcast and today's version is 1.2.0.49 and it has been again updated today or May 11 slash May 12, depends on your time zone. And we're gonna check out how well is the new features, how does it work, and is the software still stable or more unstable. So um, yeah, let's hop into my desktop. All right, so now we are on my desktop. As you can see, I got, you know, task manager and video broad. First, let's check the icon. I guess that's part of the update, right? Anyway, uh, there's a little bit more depth on the shadows and a little bit more glossier feeling. Yeah, that's, that's what I can say about the icon. Nobody cares about the icon. Anyway, let's go to my task manager. As you can see, I have it pulled up to check, you know, how much usage is the whole NVIDIA broadcast is using. As you can see, we have the NVIDIA broadcast, NVIDIA broadcast, NVIDIA virtual camera, which is of course being fed into OBS. By the way, keep in mind, for the whole video, I will be using the NVIDIA broadcast right on the recording. As you can see, I got the Rode pod mic, of course, connected to my computer, and then the Rode pod mic uh, being routed into NVIDIA broadcast RTX voice, have that on, and then that being routed into OBS. And same thing that goes into the webcam slash camera, which is the iPhone 8. The camera being fed into NVIDIA broadcast using the camera beta software for the, you know, the artificial background depth of field kind of thing. And then that being fed into OBS, hence the NVIDIA virtual camera. Now again, NVIDIA broadcast 1.2.0.49. As you can see, there's some new stuff here. Cleaner UI, guess what? I got two effects. Before you can only add one. Noise removal, you turn it on, and then you fiddle around how much strength of you know the noise removal you want in your voice but now you can do this let me remove that real quick then now you can do this add effect and then you can do room echo you know in the first launch of nvidia broadcast people are asking if they can do you know piano stuff while they had the nvidia noise removal on that might be a thing in the future but not yet but it might happen and i think it will happen all right moving on room echo removal let's turn it on and let's hear how much room echo would be removed i actually don't know if this is gonna make much of a difference because this is a dynamic microphone and my room isn't really you know echoey so uh let's just turn it on microphone testing one two three microphone testing one two three microphone testing one two three how is everybody doing this is a microphone testing let me turn it off again and do the same microphone testing one two three microphone testing one two three microphone testing one two three that's a good enough testing anyway that's that and of course you can configure the strength of how much room echo removal you want but i'll move on into speakers it's the same thing here i never actually use this because I just don't use it. <laughs> um, yeah, it works the same. You can add the effect, you can add noise removal. You can... And yes, you can also add room echo without having the noise removal tool. But yeah, that's that. Now on the camera, uh, this is, there are some good stuff in this one. First things first, as you can see, I got the Epoch cam again using the iPhone through the Epoch cam to NVIDIA broadcast to OBS. What do we have here? So this is what I usually have it on. Background blur on almost no strength. There is a difference, by the way. Let me turn it off. This is how it looks like without the uh, the depth of field uh, on performance on the lowest amount. So it's subtle, but it's there. Now if I do quality, it's gonna be a little bit of a higher usage here, but it doesn't really change much of the quality. But we're gonna stick with this for the rest of the video. I'm not playing any games anyway. So we can add effects now, right? Um, you can do two effects. You can only do two max for now maybe more in the future but i can auto frame as well oh wait i gotta move more there you go yeah testing that creaking or i don't know what you call that sound is uh from the chair i look stupid right now but hey it's working fine and you can do more zoom oh man oh look at that smooth panning it's like it's edited right but it's not this is being you know, the NVIDIA broadcast doing it live. Anyway, let's move into, I don't know, video noise removal. This is new. This is more effective when you have less lighting. Oh, wait, let, me, let me just remove the auto frame real quick. I don't think I need to have the whole video that, that you know, that close to me. All right, let me go turn off the lights in real life. And uh, we're going to check out the noise removal because that's new. All right, so what I've decided to do is basically turn off the, you know, the headlights. Headlights? Is that what you call it? Room light. There you go. Room light and then lower down the ring light in front of me into, you know, just kind of, you know, visible and good enough for the video. All right, so now as you can see, my background is dark. And as you can see, there's like film grain looking stuff here. It is, you know, it is what we call a video noise. It would be more visible if I have the background blur off. So I would just turn it off and as you can see, the film grain around on the guitar and under it on the shadows on my hair and on the shadows right around here there's a video noise right now let's turn it on video noise removal 
turn it on. Hmm. Interesting. It did smoothen the whole video out. But I don't see much of a difference. Oh, actually, you know what? Yeah, that's a big difference. I can only see the little, little detail window here from the broadcast app. Weak. It's kind of all right. Yeah. Strong. Off. On. You know what? That smoothens everything out, but it also loses a little bit of a detail on your or sharpness in your face and your hair. It it does work, and it seems like it doesn't really add too much of a usage on your system. Now let me turn on background blur again. Oh, you can see more now again, right? I don't know. I can see more. Might be just me. On, off, on. Alright, let's put both on strong and quality. The NVIDIA virtual camera has increased its own usage. So uh, that might, this will of course impact your system more than if you don't have the video noise removal. But hey, it works. Alright, what if I do a background removal now? This is new. This is kind of new. I can see it being better now. Hold on, alright, let me turn on the, the lights again and then... So now I got the room light on and then the ring light on the max again. And... You know what? Look at the hair. It did cut off... I mean this side. You see, it kind of... It, it does try... Cutting that off. The chair is much more better visibility-wise now. But if I move my hands, it's look, it still kind of glitches. But I feel like it's a lot better than how it used to look like. Now, what can we add? We can do auto frame while we have this. You know what? I think this is more useful, but I think the actual, um, the actual auto framing kind of catches up too slow. Um, and same thing that goes with the uh, background removal. All right, they both work fine. But I'm gonna stick with what I have here. There you go. <laughs> that was a good experiment though. It was. It was a good experiment. Hopefully you guys have seen uh, how much usage it was using um, on the, of course, the desktop app right here. Anyway, uh, that's basically it for the update. <laughs> nothing much, nothing new different. You know, we got the background replacement, background removal, auto frame. Those are still there even before they used basically the same technology as the background blur and background removal. Auto frame. You know, tracks your face, video noise removal. I don't know how they did it, but they track most of the noise. Now, as you can see, if I, you know what, last testing, video noise removal. Let me turn this on. Strong. The shadow is a lot better now. It doesn't have, I can barely see any noise in there. That was good. This is good in video. <laughs> All right. And yeah, as well, as well with the hair, I think. They are doing, they have updated something on the algorithm for checking hairs and the overall physical body of a person for their background removal, background blur, and whatever. So yeah, I guess uh, that's the time to end the video. But before that, some suggestions. Allow us to do more, add more effects that are useful. Don't add anything that is not useful at all. On the microphone source, in the effects tab, please add pets or noise from like maybe cats, dogs, I don't know, whatever pets you have in your house. But just do add those. Room, room echo removal is nice. I have heard some examples. It does work. Nothing much to do with my room, which is, you know, very small and is plugged with many stuff. And I'm using a dynamic microphone, which already negates the, you know, the room echo sounding. Add more effects. Allow the piano players or the guitar players to play their instruments in stream while just removing the overall airy plus the animal sound in streams. I think NVIDIA can do it. And um, they're there, they're on the path. Same thing with the camera. Just do whatever you're doing right now. It's all great. But please allow us to see ourselves better, you know, resize this if we can resize it and then you know maybe fill our whole screen 
that might make the uh, you know editing the settings much more better because we can see a better preview. But yeah, Nvidia broadcast 1.2.0.49, great update, more stuff to come probably on 1.3, 1.5 version 2 would probably be a major update but i'll end the video here thank you guys for tuning in that's not something that i usually say but yeah thank you guys for watching check out my socials uh, linktree.com slash alan avila basically all my links are there so if you want to you know connect with me on my socials that would be cool and uh yeah i'll see you guys in my next video and have a nice day